we don't think it's too onerous. San Francisco's mayor says he began seriously thinking about the potential dangers of cell phone radiation when he recently became a father. My wife, as she's breastfeeding, what does she do as she's breastfeeding? She's on the phone the whole time. And it got me thinking, and so now she definitely has a hands-free device when she does that. And then I just tell her, don't have the cell phone, so we're sitting right next to the baby, because I don't know. Newsom wants San Francisco to be the first city in the country to require retailers to display radiation levels next to phones, even though there's no agreement among scientists about the potential health hazards. A similar effort underway in Maine would require warnings, especially for children and pregnant women, to keep the devices away from their head and body. At the recent Consumer Electronics Show, one company showed off its new cell phone covers aimed at reducing radiation exposure. The actual technology was invented by a UCLA physics professor, and it's a, it's a very simple module that acts as a secondary antenna that pulls the radiation away from the phone and to the outside of your head. Some countries already require warnings, but the cell phone industry disputes the claims, and both the FCC and even the National Cancer Institute say more studies are needed. San Francisco's proposal is expected to be considered by the city council next month. There are a lot of things in our lifetime that weren't a problem. Uh, smoking wasn't an issue. You can have thermometers with mercury and don't worry about it. Uh, you can, you know, have kids eating toys with uh, uh, phthalates and other things. Don't worry about that. And, you know, growing evidence suggested maybe that was an issue. And so I'm not trying to put the cell phone companies out of business or all their providers and networks, but uh, I am at the same time saying, at least let's have just basic information that you're already legally required to have but you just don't allow the public to access in an easy way. And as these studies come out, uh, we'll all make our own judgment. Even some of those people who say they don't believe cell phones are dangerous still use hands-free devices just in case. Haven Daily, The Associated Press, San Francisco.